The only thing power respects is power. And whenever you find a man who's in a position to show power against power, then that man is respected. But you can take a man who has power and love him all the rest of your life, and non-violently and, un and forgivingly and all the rest of those off-time things, and, and you won't get anything out of it. Welcome to Pan-Africanizine. My name is Abini. Today, we are going to look at Brother Malcolm X. The organization of Afro-American unity sees the only hope uh, for the black man in America uh, in a strong Africa and, and the necessity of the Afro-American becoming uh, inseparably linked with the uh, overall program that's, that's existing on the African continent. The two problems must go, must be solved together, and the two forces must go forward together. And so the Organization of Afro-American Unity has a program to link the Afro-Americans with the Africans and the Africans with the Afro-Americans. When I say Afro-Americans, I mean those throughout the entire Western Hemisphere. This is our only hope. Our hope is in a strong Africa. And when Africa is strong, our position in America will be one of respect. But if Africa is weak, we will never be in a position of respect in America. I, th they used to have a saying that one doesn't have a Chinaman's chance, but they don't say that anymore. They used that expression back when China was weak. But now since uh, Mao Zedong has been successful in making China a strong country, uh, uh, the Chinese have more chance than anybody else. So this saying has become outdated. Well, just as it took a strong China to give a Chinese person respect wherever that Chinese person is found on this earth, uh, when we get a strong Africa, uh, the person of African origin or African ancestry will be respected any place on this earth, even in America. But he will not be respected in America until Africa is strong, just as the Chinaman wasn't respected abroad until China became strong. Vive la révolution. La lutte continue. Africa must unite.